Social services contributions outside agencies would decrease by $4,000, and the contingency would decrease by $1,611. The grand, the total for the general fund expenditures would remain at $37 million, $37,854,754 is what I have. Right. The only other change to the budget which you have the amended, which I believe you passed, was the capital improvement fund is now forty million nine forty one. Four hundred. Forty million forty one million nine forty one. It's forty million nine forty one four hundred. It was the revised sheet that came out. Thank you. That's right. Thank you. Okay. Discussion on the motion. We talk about, Mr. Chairman. Go ahead. When we talk about uh, approving the budget uh, resolution. Does that include schools as well? Mm -hmm. No, sir. Yes, no. Okay. Well, I mean, it includes the eleven million five hundred thousand yeah. contribution. Okay. By category well, specifically, us, she has categories listed well, above. Well, she does, but they're, but they're not correct numbers. I don't have the new numbers from the school board to so give you. I'll have to come back in July with the amended budget. The same thing we did last year. That is an option. Hmm? Well, these numbers are no good, to be honest with you. They're numbers that given you and based on the, the request for $2.7 million additional money. And so these numbers really look good. We can always come back and certainly amend uh, I, That's what we did last year was amend it. Because they're going to work, uh, Dr. Kilo, I believe, said he was going to work tomorrow morning to get his budget numbers finally. I think we told him what the number was, but they'll break it into categories tomorrow. That's correct. So we're still in the same path. Any other discussion on the motion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed, nay. Nay. Mr. Underwood, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Popowitz, how do you vote? Aye. Mr. Seeley. Nay. Can you tell us why? Yeah, I can tell you why. Which I don't believe we should be funding the YMCA okay. in here. Um, that's that's all I ask. For. Thank you very much, Mr. Akers. How do you vote? Aye. I vote aye as well. So the motion carries four to one. I believe I need a break. We're borrowing money for five years. This is this is one year. I'm gonna. Oh, I'm sorry. Well, there's nothing. There's nothing else worthwhile. Okay. Okay. We're going to reconvene, and we have agenda item seven, which is the review of the second phase of the fiscal year 2011 employee one-time monetary award. And Mr. Parton, give us the exact figure. We discussed this and basically said we would do it in our uh, work session. That exact number is it's ninety thousand dollars. Exactly. $90,829.69 to be precise, Mr. Chairman. $90,829.69. And 69 cents. Yes, sir. Okay. Any discussion on the uh, review of the possible second phase of the employee one time monetary fund? Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman. Um, how much money with the furloughs did, would an average employee lose in that during, and we gave them the first half, 500, right? We gave them 500 in, the, in December of last year. Of last year. Correct. Right. And they took, um, and they took six furlough days. Six furlough days and percent of salary cut for some. Right. So we don't have a number on how much the furlough days actually cost the employees, do we? I, I don't recall that off the top of my head. I don't know if you do, Ms. Hatcher. Ms. Hatcher, could you come to the mic for us, please, just to make sure? 
It's approximately two hundred and forty three thousand dollars. And how much the furlough dance cost? That's that was the, a, that six was days. Total that was the total amount. And we're getting how much back from the school? Two forty three. Sounds good to me. Okay, Mr. Chairman, I, I guess being on the social services board and seeing that they've also applied for the same benefit and that they are part of the county pay scale. I didn't know how we were going to handle that since we didn't discuss that during the first round. I know that they did not, could not take a pay cut because of the way they're, because of the way they are funded. But I got to tell you that the workload that's there is unbelievable. What are you talking about in terms of dollars, Mr. Seeley? Uh, I believe Mr. Pardon has it down here underneath estimated cost for social services is twelve thousand three hundred and eighty dollars. With with the county share being eight thousand two hundred and eighty one dollars right. and the rest coming from the federal government, I believe. Mrs. Green, if I let you stand up and talk to us, you're gonna yell at me? <laughs> yes, sir. I know because I'm not gonna let you stand up and talk to us. <laughs> Oh, you beat up on women, shame on you. <laughs> no, I don't want to. Okay, I don't want to have that impression either. Is there anything you would like to say, Mrs. Green? Because of the way we were talking. You can come on up to the, the mic. mic. I had to. <laughs> because of the way we are funded, we could not take a pay cut because most of our salaries is from the state and there's a local match. So the only thing you could have cut was the local match. And at that time, when we talked to Percy, um, I think it's a 85-15 split. And then, of course, we do use pass-through money because we run out of the 85-15. So the split even gets larger. Did you take furlough days? We couldn't. You couldn't take furlough days? Have you seen their caseloads? I'm just doing this one thing. And I'm really, I want everybody to know. Well, now I'm like that up. You didn't take furlough days, you couldn't take a pay cut. But what you're really asking for is some sort of cost of living increase because you haven't had raises in quite some time. We're asking for bonus because we haven't had raises right. in three years. Okay. Now, Same as account employees are getting. Right now. Consideration. Now, now one time bonuses won't affect your caseload at all. No. But it may make you happier when you're overworked. Yes, it may lift okay. the morale of some of our workers who have been really working hard. Okay. Thank you. I don't really have a problem in adding because it comes out to 8,000 for the county. Do you want to add the social services workers to the one-time county bonus? Absolutely, Mr. Chairman. I think it would be the right thing to do. Um, you sure you don't want to come back and yell at me? No, you can get more if you yell at me. She's in my district. I won't hold that against you. That was that your motion? <laughs> yes, sir. Okay. Is there a second to the motion? Second. Discussion on the motion. The number is ninety-eight thousand. Exact number now. Eight thousand. It's close to ninety-nine thousand dollars. Okay. The motion will be to. Uh, to appropriate the, or to fund the $500 county bonus for employees who took pay cuts and to also apply the $500 bonus to the social service employees. And Mr. Pardon estimates the number is close to $99,000. And that also includes the 125 to the part-time who took a pay cut. Correct. That was your motion. Mr. Seeley, did you second? Uh, still second? Mr. Aker second. Oh, Mr. Aker second. I'm sorry. Okay, discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, nay. Motion carries unanimously. Uh, selection of the line of duty act benefits carrier. I think that was you, Mr. Parton. Yes, sir, Mr. Chairman. Uh, I think the board is aware that beginning uh, fiscal year 12, which begins uh, July 1st, the cost of the line of, the, of duty act is being shifted uh, from the state to localities. And uh, in addition to, to shifting the cost of future liabilities, the, 
General Assembly action also uh, retroactive, retroactively shifts the cost of um, existing and past uh, liabilities to local governments as well. And uh, if you're not, uh, for those who aren't familiar, uh, the Line of Duty Act basically provides uh, payments to um, uh, family members of public safety officials that have been killed in the line of duty and uh, also continues health insurance for those who've been disabled uh, for the employee and their family members as well. And the eligible employees include uh, law enforcement personnel, including court personnel, uh, EMTs, firefighters, and uh, volunteer fire and rescue personnel as well. Localities basically have three options to uh, begin uh, providing this uh, load of coverage, uh, one of which is to join a um, <clears throat> trust fund through the uh, Virginia Retirement System. The second option is to individually self-fund, and the third is that uh, VACO, the, the, the insurance arm of VACO, VACORP, has created a member-owned pool that uh, localities can, can join as well. Staff is recommending that we go with the uh, VACO option. Uh, it, it will cost approximately uh, $10,740 more uh, in, in fiscal year 12 than the uh, VRS option. However, uh, over a four year period, savings will begin to materialize uh, over that period. And uh, <clears throat> VACO believes that uh, that the estimate that VRS has provided is, has been lowballed uh, initially um, because it, uh, the program uh, doesn't um, fund future liabilities in the FY12 uh, rates that they provided. Now the county can remain with uh, VRS one additional year. Uh, we don't have to make the decision to switch to VACO this year. However, uh, if we don't, um, opt out of VRS by June 20th, 2012, and we're in permanently. It's irrevocable at that, at that point. And uh, importantly, by, by joining VACO um, in the current fiscal year, we're sure that if a claim is made in FY12, the pool will cover all, all future funding for that. On the other hand, if we remain, uh, if we choose to remain with VRS, and we opt out, uh, prior to June 30th, 2012, any new claims that we incur during fiscal year 12 become an additional cost of the county. So there's a difference there. And for those reasons, we're recommending that we go with, with VACO uh, in lieu of VRS uh, and the additional $10,700 that, uh, that it will cost us has already been identified in the budget. We're not asking you to come up with additional money. Uh, we've come up with savings to, to cover that delta. With that, Mr. Chairman, I'd be happy to answer any questions. Any questions of Mr. Parton at this time? Mr. Parton. Yes, sir. Uh, what is the difference in, uh, over the, you said over about four years we'd see a savings. What is, what is the savings of it? Do we know that, that figure? <clears throat> if you go to, uh, the back page under, uh, Tab number eight, Mr. Popowitz, in your board packet. Okay. Uh, it lays out the cost there, 2011 through 2015, both for VRS and uh, in Baycor. And you can see <clears throat> by 2014, the cost goes from 503. That's per eligible employee. Is that correct, Ms. Hatcher? Uh, <coughs> for VRS versus 466 for VACO. By 2015, it's uh, 642 for VRS versus 492 for VACO. The estimated cost savings at, at this current time with the VRS rates over the four year period would be about $34,000. Okay. However, in speaking with VRS and with VACOR, for all the counties that pull out of VRS, um, their rates are going to go up significantly. So even though it shows the rate of 233 for 12 to 365, 70 for 13, they're estimating that it's going to be significantly higher than that. 
because so far um, approximately 30 counties out of the 84 counties have already opted out and gone with BACOR. So for more of the counties going out, those costs for VRS are going to go up significantly. Okay, so you're saying VRS is going to be more, even it, more expensive than that? It's going to be even more expensive. Okay. That's all the questions I have. Thank you. Any other questions? Any other questions? If not, motion's in order to go ahead and select uh, Bay Corp as our line of duty benefits carrier. So, so moved. Second. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, nay. Motion carries unanimously. Mr. Parton, capital projects update, and we need to schedule a work session on utility issues. Yes, For a day, Mr. Chairman, I'm I sorry. Was, I was distracted. Okay. Not the first time. Uh, okay, we, well, you want to do the capital projects update first? Sure. Mr. Chairman, members of the board, this is the uh, <clears throat> monthly capital project update uh, report that we provide uh, uh, tracking the, uh, <clears throat> the amount spent to date versus the estimated budget and noting anything. Uh, <clears throat> that we need to bring to the board's attention. I uh, really don't, didn't plan on going down it uh, line by line unless, unless the board had any questions. Sounds good. Are there any questions to Mr. Parton on the capital projects update? No questions, Mr. Bailey, no questions. Okay. Now let's look for a date and time when we can do the budget, I mean the uh, utility issue work session. We won't have that report on the water until July 12th or July 7th. What was the date? Uh, July 12th. July 12th. So it would have to be after that. July's odd month, so we meet twice. That's correct. July, or have a third meeting in July, or do a meeting in August? Discuss the water issues sooner rather than later. Yeah. Nineteen. Nineteen. Okay. Mr. Underwood. July. Jeff, does that look good to you? Right now, it looks All right, fine. Mr. Underwood, I think, has an issue with that, so. That might be a problem. You got a problem with that? Okay. Um, How about the week of the 12th? Let me, let me try to check. Let me try to review my schedule. But the week before that, we, we don't have a meeting on the 12th. We have right. a meeting on the 12th. But we're not going to get this other report on the water system until the 12th. So before that, wouldn't, we wouldn't 14. have all the information. Okay, let's, let's do 19 from now on. Nineteen, say five o'clock. We should probably spend a couple of hours. Five to seven. Say please. Is fourteen an alternative date, Mr. Underwood? Absolutely. Because they say if it nineteen doesn't work for him, we'll make it fourteen. I think I have a problem with fourteen. <coughs> not to be in. Uh, not to be in, in Northern Virginia. I'm the 19th to work. You can. You got enough time to move things around. I'll make it work. Okay. okay. Perfect. Five o'clock. How about seven? Five o'clock. We'll do five to seven. Five to seven. That should give us a couple of hours. I think that's right. Okay. All right. Um, that takes care of what we have. Consultation, uh, we've got closed meeting consultation with legal counsel and briefings by staff, Caroline Pines easement, and can I add personnel? Okay. 
We need a motion to uh, move to Carolina County, County Board of Supervisors to uh, uh, convene and close the meeting pursuant to the acquisition of real estate exemption of section 2.237.11A3 of the Code of Virginia to discuss the acquisition of utility easements in Caroline Pines and also section 2.237.11A1 is personnel. So moved. Second. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed nay. We will be in closed session in a minute or two. Um, I don't know if you have to because we already did your property. Okay. Right? Mr. Underwood said he was going to excuse himself, but we already did his property, so there's no effect on him, so he can stay. You own more property over there? I do. You just, you just, <laughs> he you just, you just trying to get out to get see out. what was in the snack room. You, uh, you own the whole road over there. I know. All right. All right. Is there a motion to uh, come out of closed meeting? So moved. Second. Motion made by Mr. Seeley, seconded by Mr. Popowitz. All in favor say aye. 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 Those opposed nay. That motion carries unanimously. Certified. We have uh, to certify. Mr. Underwood, you certify only those things we went into closed session to discuss were discussed. I so certify. Mr. Popowitz. I so certify. Mr. Seeley. I so certify. Mr. Akers. I so certify. And I so certify. We have one action item. Mr. Chairman. Or do I have two action items? You're one. on the personnel. You're going to discuss the personnel issue, so there's no action. What was the action item? For number eight, 2000. I don't. We don't, we don't use a mouse. We have a motion to accept uh, two. Right. You still have it here. My motion is as the county attorney has outlined for uh, number eight, number 16, number 17, as far as uh, continuing to, to negotiate. Um, and starting the condemnation uh, if that proceedings fails. if that fails. Correct. And 20 and 21 to accept uh, staff's recommendation. That's it. Is there a second to that motion? Second. All in favor say aye. 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 All opposed, nay. The motion carries unanimously. Is there a motion to adjourn? So, so moved. Mr. Chairman. Oh, I'm sorry. Board closing, comments, closing board comments. Yeah, I have a couple. Mr. Chairman, I have a couple of comments. Um, looking at the need for revenue in the county, I think we should explore the possibility of. Um, having a 2% fuel tax in the county. And my thought was that we could probably raise quite a bit of money and then if in fact we, we raised a, a large amount of money, we could offer the, some of the citizens or some of the taxpayers a rebate in terms of real estate taxes if we felt it was an exorbitant amount of, amount of money and that way if we had to carry the tax uh, fuel tax for the full year those people living in the county would not be hurt by the fuel tax we'd give them some type of rebate back as a result of based on the amount of money we took in based on the two percent fuel tax my thought was that during the summer months there are a lot of tourists coming through the county and most of the tourists would be would be paying this um, tax. And I think it's important for me, all that I learned is that, that the best way to, to um, levy taxes e equally is a usage tax. I think that, would, that usage tax would certainly help us. But again, for our county residents, we could offset some of that by giving them a break if we raised quite a bit of money. And I believe we could probably raise 
four to five million dollars in a year based on that based on that uh, two percent tax and I think we should explore that secondly I would ask this board to be begin to look seriously at the redundancy in services in the county in terms of maintenance in the county, services across the county. I think it's time that we have to stop talking about it and take the lead and do what we need to do. I think I'm looking at, you know, three maintenance garages or vehicles. I think it's time that we pull all of these services under one roof and certainly look at all the services within the county that are redundant and we begin to bring those into under one umbrella. Thank you. Okay, one thing Mr. Underwood, the 2% gas tax was a feature of joining PRTC or was it PRTC or VR? PRTC. 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 So we would have to, we would have to join them and that 2% gas tax was was part of that and a, and a, and a portion a, a portion goes to the PTRC a portion goes to the county and I think there are some other caveats on what that money can be used for I, I'm not sure if it's if it's just road projects or some other things but I'll, I'll ask staff to investigate that we had, hadn't talked to PRTC for at least four years um, so I'll, I'll ask Mr. Parton to look into that just okay. to make sure we have all the details and we can kind of make an informed decision. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Popowitz. Yeah, um, pursuant to Mr. Underwood's comment about the redundancy, um, I'd like this board at maybe at the next couple of meetings now that we're done with, with budget to consider looking at a, uh, an efficiency study being done at both the county level and the school level much like the one that was done for Richmond. I think that uh, when we have a new county administrator coming in, we'll give him a tool or her a tool to, to fix the problems that we do have within our county and, and administration. If, if there are none, then we will have to worry about that. But I believe every, every organization needs improvement. So, um, and I think it would give us a, a tool to, to make better decisions uh, financially and um, other for other reasons so uh, in the next couple of months I'd like to see us at least uh, find out what the cost would be to do that um, and then uh, see if we can move forward with it uh, I don't believe we need the school board's permission to do that for the schools do we <laughs> Emerson, can you find that out for us? Thank you. Okay. That's all I had, Mr. Chairman. All right. Uh, you'll check and see if that's a possibility with both uh, entities. Okay. Mr. Steely Yemeni? I have none, Mr. Chairman. Mr. Akers? Mr. Chairman, I do have a couple of comments. Uh, First, uh, I'm, I'm in total agreement with uh, the maintenance uh, facilities and the maintenance uh, duplication that we have in this county. And I know a number of years ago, it's probably been 20 years ago or better, uh, that was a joint committee. Mr. Seeley, you may have been on the school board at the time, that managed that uh, maintenance facility in, in, uh, over near the high school. And I think that is something that we need to seriously look at again. And I think that uh, we'll all benefit from that. Uh, the other thing I have is, is the fact that uh, I know Mr. Parton has been busy, but we did talk about employees taking vehicles home. And I think that was some concern. And, and my question, and based on the recommendation that was out there, my question is, do we know how much it cost, how it's cost in the county? Uh, we do, do we know how many times that an individual that has a vehicle has had to go out on the weekends or go out do, oh, at night and things of that nature. Uh, I would very much like to have that information. I think the board needs to have that information. Uh, and I don't know that we, we need to, you know, so that we can make a decision fairly quickly. I started working on that when the uh, water was 
I understand. I understand. And the other is the does sonnet. That, can I ask one? That, that includes like, like sheriff's vehicles too? Or? Yeah. The sheriff does not send, does not allow his people to take their vehicles home. If they live outside the county, they have to park the vehicle at a, st a station somewhere. Right, but, now, but, they take sure. them, but they take them home if they live in the county. Right. Right. So, 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 so my question yeah, is, are, are you asking how many times a sheriff's vehicle or, or, or deputy stops somebody on their way absolutely. home? Or I'm, trying, I'm trying to figure okay. out what the cost is. It may not be worth doing anything, but I don't, unless we look at it, we don't know what the cost is. And the other has to do with the solid waste, waste privatization. I was under the impression that that was one area that we were seriously looking at privatization on. And my question is, where do we stand on? I have a meeting really? Thursday with... Crunching numbers, we provided information to them. Uh, he wants to meet on Thursday to he has a few more questions and wants to go over some of the information that he has for them. So. Okay. Uh, and the last thing has to do with uh, I was uh, called tonight or, or this evening from the Garden Club, and they would like a proclamation or a uh, resolution uh, in support of their anniversary, or whatever. So I've asked her to get in touch with you. Uh, to give you the information. When's the anniversary? Mm -hmm. When's the anniversary? So they have some type of some type of celebration in September. At Saint, uh, at the Catholic Church. I think they're going to have it over at the business center. Okay. Mr. Mr. Barton, can we have an update on the on the solid waste uh, findings um, at the next meeting, please? Sure. Okay, thank you. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. That's all I have. You're welcome. Um, before you say sure, you, is that enough on the plate or you can handle it? Oh, really? Let's see. Take us home and read it. You can probably get a status report. Okay, okay, that's good. Okay, I think that's, uh, I don't have any, I don't, have, I don't have any comments. Is there a motion to adjourn now? So moved. Second. All in favor say aye. 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 Adjourn.